The Old Testament prophet Jeremiah is called the weeping prophet because the majority of his prophecy was not very good news. But the book in the Bible that follows the book of Jeremiah is called the Lamentations of Jeremiah. Laments. That too sounds like not very good news. However, Jeremiah was a person of hope like you. He writes in Lamentations chapter 3, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in God. What great news. As we gather to worship today, Jane Davis brings to us a word of hope from the Old Testament with a question. What is it that God might be doing new in you? What joy might God be planting in you? Or what joy may God have already planted in you that needs to be set free, let out? As we worship today, I hope that you'll do so with joy, that you'll sing along with the band or with the choir, that as you pray, you'll not just lift up petitions, though those are important, but also praise to our God. The writer of Psalm 95 calls us to worship with these words. Oh, come, let us worship the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into God's presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to God with songs of praise. For the Lord is great. In God's hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are also God's. The sea belongs to God, for God made it. Oh, come, let us worship God, our Lord and our Maker.